We're not going to be looking at caravans. I've uh, just got too no, much to do. Want but to be over they here. have got a new range of caravans here, haven't they? So, but what they have got are the motorhomes, the Adamo and the Autograph. Now there is a 69.4 here, which I'm highly suspicious is the one we borrowed. Yes. So if you haven't seen our video on the Adamo, uh, check it out. We did a whole series on this motorhome. Had a great two weeks, didn't Had we? a lovely two weeks with it. And it's a fantastic motorhome and it's under seven meters, so it's yeah. It's well worth having a look at. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, so this is the Bailey Adamo 75 4i with the island bed. Payload on this is 352. It's under 3,500 kilograms. MTPLM and this is four and a half at uh, seven and a half meters long but it has got the same big garage here in fact I think this is a little it is bigger this one isn't it um, have a look inside I assume we're all right are we all right yeah, I don't know. I'll go in have a look <laughs> you can always tell us off can't they having a cheeky look before the show starts properly so yeah so you've got the Ford cab the automatic gearbox that comes as standard and you've got the two shelves well, there's three shelves here isn't there you've got the Ford shelf then you've got two Bailey shelves above that this one you've got lockers because there's no drop down bed in, no. in here so you've got the lockers in there and it's a massive locker it's absolutely it? enormous yeah got another one the other side not quite as wide but yeah yeah so it's got a like um look in here which is different from the 69.4 it's got a little um, bit of fabric there and some hangers there's not like the recess thing which we couldn't sort of get to grips with, no could I couldn't really get to grips with it, it. nice yeah. big fridge yeah and a massive freezer so this is the Thetford unit again. That's right. And you've got the... these nice drawers at the bottom. Obviously, they'd have shelves in there normally. Yeah, so a good size fridge. And you've got a drawer here. Nice size drawer for your cutlery. I think that's where the, the gas is. Mm. And your Thetford grill and oven. Which my glamorous assistant is demonstrating. And then they've got this. So lifts up. Yeah, well, that's quite good because that makes extra workspace. That's there. right, rather than you know doing things on yeah. there. Yeah. Got three covers and four in the smaller one. Didn't yeah, they? yeah. The, the the smaller Adama actually has more cupboards, but uh, they are good sized cupboards. You could fit a microwave in here if you wanted to. All right, got it. Yeah, I've got it. Usual okay. warning message on the <laughs> on the Truman. The Truman yeah. <laughs> And it's got a door here to the washroom area. So quite this a is nice shower. Yeah, so that's the shower area. And it is it's quite wide, isn't it? Yeah, and yeah. notice it's got a two drain layer, holes. Two, two drain. drain holes and a better lip at the back. Yeah, and it's a bit deeper, isn't it? Yeah. That's quite a deep lip there, so you don't get water coming over the thing. Put, I'm gonna have to come in there. You're gonna come in, okay. Yeah, yeah so that door closes that way and that makes the whole wash area now I, th I do think that these Bailey washrooms are good because this is quite a big space here once you close that door off the toilets on a little bit of a pedestal but it's actually on a, a raised bit so that's okay you see that well, that's a, a bit oh yeah that's okay yeah you've got the square sink that you had that we've got used to and you've got this big Locker there. So this this is a good size. Oh, quite. Yeah, uh, yeah. This, this pulls. Across, I won't do it. But that no, pulls across. That pulls across, and, and, you're, and you know, you're sealed off to the world. Yeah. So what's the bed like? Well, I'm just wondering about the length of it. I don't know whether. Well, it's it's on its up position. It's in its yeah. day position. Right. So it would come Presumably. out as far as. 
that yeah. falls out. I probably don't want to do no, it because no. I wreck their display. No. So that makes it easier to get in and out. But yeah, you can see it's the pillars up that side, so this would pull forward. Yeah. Probably come out a bit further out there. But yeah, it wouldn't be a very tall, long bed. Wardrobes either side. You've got a little shelf area there. Same the other side, and you've got a little pocket at the side as well, haven't you? Down there. Oh, there. No, no, no here. The Down there. Down there, yeah. Yeah. And reading lights. Yeah. Yeah, this is a nice bedroom. Hmm, there's a nice atmosphere. Yeah. TV would be over there. Here? Yeah. Yeah. And you've got your 240 volts and your 12 volt and your aerial socket. Yeah. How would you do for height here? Sorry? Height. I'm standing on the top step. Uh, it's, it's brushing my head. It's, it's, it's okay. I mean, you're not going to be standing up in here a lot, are well, you? Well, no, the idea is <laughs> a bit, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's good. I like this. Oh, I like this. I like this grey carpet. Yeah. <laughs> Mind that carpet. Don't There's a step there. Told you about that. <laughs> There's two step. steps. Yeah, I nearly, I nearly did, broke my ankle the first day then. No, there is two steps, so you do have to remember that. And you've got locker under there. I assume if you, oh, you're able to... I can't lift that on my own. But that's quite, that is quite heavy, so that will give you access underneath. And we did like this lounge. It is basically the same lounge. I think it's the sofas are a little bit shorter, or this one is. Is it? But again, it's got the travel seats, hasn't it? They're You've got the two travel seats. Comfortable. Yeah. I think with the garage and with the lockers here, mm. this would more suit us. Yeah. And the 69.4. Love the we love table. the table. The table is brilliant. Yeah, very nice. Quite like this. So we thought we'd start with something. That we like. We like. You can have it pre-wired for Wi-Fi. Yeah. Retailer fit. Retailer fit, yeah. And that was very good, wasn't it? The, the TV, TV up bracket. there is a perfect yeah. place. Yeah. Mm. I would love to try this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just have a wander around the outside. It's a whale fill point. Toilets there. You've got your new Hartel door with the umbrella stand. A Ford cab. Yep. It's got the mirror protectors on. Uh, it's got the mirror protectors. That's uh, the added on bit from um, Prima Leisure. Prima Leisure, thank you. Yeah. All right, all right. Okay. Yeah, well, that's cheered me up, that is. It's got those headlight. They've got the headlamp protectors as well. as well. Part of the Prima Leisure kit. Yeah, we like this. Seven and a half meters, so a little bit shorter than ours. I did comment on the um, waste thing there. It's, if I think it's still in the middle yeah. of the van but it can be remedied with a pipe coming out the other side. Yeah. This one's got bike rack on it. And the rear view camera at the back. Very nice. Yeah, so this is the Bailey Autograph 794i. Seventy-two thousand nine nine nine. Yeah, we'll have a look around the outside. This has got a garage. This one, quite a big garage. Not very high, but it could fit. Well, aqua roll and awning. Awning. Yeah. Waste master. Poppy's bed. Poppy's bed. Won't put Poppy in there, in No, no. Storing it. Rear view camera. Provision for bike rack. It's 
pre-wired for Wi-Fi. They're just tidying it up inside at the moment. Let them carry on with that. Really nice alloy wheels. It's got a um, blind spot, I think. I wonder if that's an add-on as well then. Oh, that's quite good. Yeah. I mean, that's in addition to the wide angle thing there. So I think Robin mm. Lynn used that one. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Fortunately, I don't think we can get down the other side. <laughs> no. That might be a bit tight, even for me. <laughs> I've got your electricity point down there. Let's go and have a look inside. LPG locker there. And you've got the sofa that makes up into travel seats. And we are very impressed by these seats, aren't we? Yes. You want to you wanna try it? Try this one. Yeah. The TV point up there. Yeah, it's fine because feet are on the ground. You can move that there. There, it, that moves so out. Double, so, so you've got a double seat yeah. there. I think you could probably just use the outer seat as a travel seat if you just three of you. Yeah. And you've got speakers there and there, and your reading lights, and your sunroof, all good stuff. And we've looked in these so many times, haven't we? Mm. I don't think we've looked in the island bed one, though. No, no. I mean, you've got the island bed. Shall we start at the back, then? You've got the island bed pulled all the way back in its day position quite a step up there but it does give you a lot of room in that position I assume it comes all the way out to here yeah, yeah. To, lots of cupboard space quite a big cupboard there electric point vanity mirror wardrobes at the back yeah it says it's retractable that goes way down there as well so loads of hanging space there speakers in the back headboard reading lights TV over here another cupboard you've got drawers at the bedside table yeah two massive drawers down under there oh yeah you've got huge drawers here kind of just Around there. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Another one underneath it. Those are huge. And that's an addition to your garage. Yeah. Yeah. You've got your Thetford oven grill. So that's the same as in your Dharma, isn't it? Yeah. Jenny goes quiet when we're in these. <laughs> <laughs> She's thinking, God, how much? <laughs> now this is a nice big fridge freezer. It's a super fri fridge freezer. Look at that. And these open both ways, these ones. Yeah, I'm still not sure. I, I loved it to begin with, but... Got like a co cool box there, isn't it? I suppose that's, yeah, it must have a tray in it normally. Oh, so you can have shelves here. Yeah. Just to demonstrate, it goes that way as well, or that way. Yeah. I think actually, when in this foot layout, that's actually quite useful, isn't it? Because if you're lying in bed and you just fancy a quick coke or that's right, something yeah. stronger, or you're coming through from the lounge, or you're actually in the kitchen, you know, it's pretty easy to open it that way. Yeah. Oh. Huge cupboard. Huge cupboard up there. You'd never reach that. Would you? Well, it's like we've got a cupboard like that ourselves, haven't we? Right? <laughs> what about the washroom? Uh, yeah, so I think this is all right. That, well, yeah, that's all you need to see. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look. A bit of a step up into it. But it's a plastic floor, isn't it? So all that should drain away if it does get wet. And that is quite a spacious washroom. It's got a bifold, bifold, yeah, bifold doors. 
to close that area off. Uh, toilet, good size sink. More cupboard space in there. Big mirror. Hanging for your towels, your wet towels, your coats. Yeah, no, it's all right that. It's not the biggest washroom you'll ever see, but I think that would work. The only difference when you know, compare it with a centre one is yeah. you've got the centre one and the bedroom behind you. You yeah. can just come out of there and go into the bedroom. Yeah. Here you've got to come out of that door, yeah. haven't you? You've got nothing screening you no, here. No, that's right. It's not. It, it's no changing area, is it? So you'd have to go back into the bedroom yeah. to change, wouldn't so that's, it? That's sort of the difference. Yeah, yeah. So you're actually saying that you prefer centre washrooms now? If I can't have a real one, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you obviously can't at the moment. No. Did you notice something about the, um, the microwave? Jenny just pointed out the microwave. Yes, it's a turntable-free one. A lot of them are now. Yeah, I know. That is such a leap forward for microwave kind. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Well, certainly for motomes, anyway. So I was never sure whether I like this grey blue. I, I quite like it. I quite like it. It's, it's subtle. That cream one. Yeah. Yeah. Quite subtle one. It's nice with carpet. Yeah, and you've got another locker under there. Is that or is that your? Um, can you just open that locker down there? Pull it. Oh yeah, that's your electrics. Not quite neat in there, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. I'm torn now, this one or this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we've got the new Chausson X550 here. And the big thing about this motome is that it is a coach built motome, but it's as narrow as a panel van. So if you're worried about width, this is possibly a van that you might want to look at. And it's quite a smart looking thing, isn't it? it in is, black great. and yeah, it really stands out. Touches of blue. Yeah. It's on a 140 multi-jet 3, so you're not really lacking in power. It's not a huge size van. Let's have a look at the specs. There they are. So three three five hundred. Uh, make that four hundred. That's nearly nine hundred kilos payload. That's what we said, wasn't it? Yeah. Looking at it. Yeah. That's a huge amount of payload. I'm just wondering where we put it all. Yeah. Well, that's that would be my first question. It's got a little garage round the back. I noticed. And your toilet cassette. Yeah. So it's got like a locker garage here, which you can access from the inside, somewhere to store your cushions. Yeah, alright. LPG locker just here. There's no overhang at all. No. I think if I was new to motimes, this would be brilliant. Mm. Some of the things we've got, 135 litre fridge, Isofix seats. Oh, let's have a look inside. Okay. Mm. Got the uh, fold away table, the yeah, electric it's a, table. A long, thin one. Quite a long sofa there, isn't there? Presumably. Turn that round. Yeah. Yeah, we've got the uh, fold tra away travel, travel seats. seats. Yeah. So there's one there. Is that all? There's one there, is there? There's another one here. Yeah. Yeah. So two travel seats, so you can travel with four. Got a drop-down bed. Well, that's a bit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so it hits yeah. you that when you when you look up. Yeah, it's quite bright, isn't it? Yeah, and it's the spiral sort of. Oh, is it? <laughs> You've got no window on that side, I notice. Just a plain wall. And a mirror. And a mirror. Yeah. But you have got a big window that side. The um, yelch. <laughs> the bed's there. <laughs> the bed's there. So you will have to duck if you're my size. 
It's on a Fiat, a new Fiat cab. Five speed, five speed, six speed manual. Since when did they have five speed, Bob? <laughs> <laughs> but this table's quite big, isn't it? It's it's Soon long, that. it's because you've got like three seats. Yeah, oh, it's got a little, has it got a thing to fold and pull out? They normally have a little support yeah, there, that's it. that's it. Yeah. That's all right for your rummy cub and... Yeah, Yatsi. Uno we've been playing recently, Yeah, and Yatsi, haven't we now? <laughs> Yatsi, yeah. The latest. Push that back. That's it. Oh, it's not bad, is it? Not bad at all. There's all your controls. TV's there, so you could watch that in bed. Yeah. Yeah. It's got these catches on the fridge that you have to unlock to open. This is a Dometic fridge, very similar in size to ours. Yeah, obviously they lock for travel. There's Thetford Triple X combination oven grill, electric hot plate, two burner gas, reasonable size sink, oh no, actually it's not, it's a fairly small sink, <laughs> really, let's be honest, nice cutlery drawer, that feels very, very smooth, soft close, you've got the controls for the table there, and for the bed, and a USB there. And you've got your Truma controls in that cupboard. What's that that's on that rail? I think it's just a hanging rail, isn't it? You hang pots right. and pans and things off there. Little hooks. I'm going for a black tap. There's a bit of a black theme on the outside, isn't there? Yeah, I know. Quite impressed so far. And washroom across the back. Toilet. I think that'd be a drop-down sink. Yeah, drop-down sink. Good. Up. Go. Locker there. I think that. Yeah, that closes off the shower area. Can actually move that. Ventilation. That door closes off. Sliding door. I think washroom's all right. Somewhere to put your cupboards. You get escape to the outside. <laughs> you can walk through there. Well, someone said it was like another door. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. I don't know how much of that you can see on camera? It's, let me switch my light on. Yeah, so quite a big hanging space and lots of shelves in here. So yeah, I'm, I'm just a little bit, you know, worried before about storage space. It's not bad. No. But I think you probably would struggle if you were taking a lot of gear with you. I noticed that all the controls for everything seem to be under the sink. Yeah, yeah. Bed, table and two and, USBs. And this, yeah. I'm not sure about this, but this thing, it's light. No. But uh, seats? Comfy? Oh dear. <laughs> a little bit hard. Get, get in the face. Yeah, they're a little bit hard. They're okay. They're not the most comfortable. No. But it needs a rear view, rear view camera now. Yeah. They've just got a um, rear, rear mirror there. Mirror, yeah. Could they what they're called. Sunroof yeah. there as well. That lets in a bit of light. So it's not obscured by the bed. No. Right. No, it's, it's all right. It's okay. Some space under here somewhere. Yeah, there's space under there. So they have got a bit of storage space under the seats. Anything, the other thing I was thinking, if if it's five foot nine, five foot, five point nine nine across. Yeah. How would you get on sleeping like that? Oh, with the bed? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have to look at the specs. So I don't think it might not be wide enough. Might not be wide enough, yeah. Good point. Don't you? Not if it says. Uh, 
I thought my eyes were going there. That's that. that yeah. I thought, I thought it was out of focus. Didn't say. Yeah, if it's 2.1 metres across, that bed's going to be somewhat less than 2 metres, so probably about 1.89. Won't be too bad. No. I think I'd, def idea, I'd definitely it? check that. Yeah. I mean, it's always a problem with a narrower van sleeping across the van, certainly for someone who's six foot. Yeah, so it's not a problem for me, but it would be for you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it used to look good on off road tyres, wouldn't it? It would. Jacked up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, quite like that. Back a bit. There we are. Yeah, so that's the Chosson X550. Thank you. So this is a Chosson 660 and it's a 170 and it's on an automatic, this one. It's Ford automatic. And this is the exclusive line got your Ford black alloys and it's under seven meters so it's got a double entrance so it's got a wide entrance door so this is a two litre 170 brake horsepower or 100, 200, 125 kilowatt manual air conditioning and it's 3145 mass in running order so it gives you about 355 kilos of payload which I would say is not a lot um, and it's 68,290 and you've got, I think they call it a tech, techni box so <laughs> You definitely could get in and out at the back here. No, it says, I think that's what it means by double entrance. You can yeah. go in that way or you can go yeah. in that way. Yeah. A little bit about the construction here. And different types of construction. So what they're saying is that you have got another entrance here. Yeah. And they've even put the steps up here for it. And it's got... A step, and it, as, a well. step as well. Yeah. So you wouldn't need to bring these steps with you. No, no. That'd be good. <laughs> Don't think I've ever got in this way in a motorhome. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Because you're coming in through the garage. Yeah, so you've got some open shelves here with some elasticated retaining straps. Drawers. Shallowish drawer there. Butcher. And there. And you've got this thing this here, thing, haven't yeah. you? Now this is something... Do you want me out of the way? Well, possibly. Because <laughs> <laughs> we break it. I think it pulls up or something. Right, forget it out. There's a little catch here. Up there. And this thing drops down like that. Got quite heavy. Jump. Yeah. Oh. So... I suppose I'm quite sure how you would use that, but... Definitely a lot of storage space. Or you can have it up out of the way. Hmm. Interesting. Cunning, these French, aren't mm. they? Yeah, pretty different. You've got a 12 volt socket and a 240 volt socket there. You've got hanging space here. I do quite like the idea of having a second door. Yeah, yeah. Got more sort of rack space there as well. A door for Poppy to go out that way. Yeah. I suppose if you were putting aqua roll and stuff in there, you wouldn't be coming in that way, but... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could take all this in yet. Yeah. Oh, massive, massive cupboards. Controls in there. Uh, 25 minutes before the show opens for proper. So it's, it's just a... That's nice. Yeah. Cutlery there. Cutlery again. Quite a small sink, but you've got your controls, your bed and table again. And two USBs. And USB there, yeah. Yeah. So oh, that's rack. for your bin. For your it? bin, yeah, yeah, I would think. Yeah. You've got another 
Oh, open that. Oh, yeah. that's that quite feels to me as if you might pull that off. Yeah, yeah, it's quite stiff, isn't it? Yeah. It's probably new. It's quite like a light under the cupboard. Sunroof above. Is that? It's not an extractor, is it? It's just a no. Roof. It's just a roof. Yeah. Just a white plastic roof. Now this is probably the compromise, isn't it? Yeah. A bit. Yeah. Small in there. It's you've got a or toilet up on a bit of a. It's not a, a swing pedestal. wall, is it? Not a swing wall, no. No, you've got a door here to close the whole thing off. Yeah, that slides round. I'm sure it's not. What? But this doesn't go round. Oh, the, does it? Yes, it does. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Right. So now. And now you've you got have a, a huge a, shower. Yeah, and then that's a good size shower. Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. I like that. They've thought that through, haven't they? It's really an idea, those swing, swing wall. walls, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, swing wall. Yeah. You could go in there with that there, but you wouldn't want to. Well, no. Well, you, well, you couldn't shower, shower but you, no. at least you can wash yeah. and you can use the loo. Yeah. So that's good. Very clever. Cupboard on the wall. Lots of vanity. Well, there's more to this. Yeah, but this is what I sort of noticed when I was looking at it before. You've got that there. Yeah. Which I suppose is, is that to put wine bottles in? Or? What, yeah, it must be for wine bottles, doesn't it? Something like that, anyway. Oh, and wine glasses there. Got your controls here. Now this has got Webasso diesel heating. Yeah. So you're not using gas if, you, if you're off grid for heating. No. So that's good. Gas, obviously, for your cooking. Are you going to demonstrate this table? Oof. This is a huge this, it lounge. Is, yeah. It's an absolutely enormous lounge. It sort of opens out. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. And then I think to myself, well, you it's obviously it, can square you? like that, so you yeah. turn it, yeah. Yeah, I assume there's a there's, control there's a underneath. Control isn't? underneath somewhere. Yeah. So then you've got quite a nice. Well, you've got a huge area, haven't you? Square table, so you can Th that sit seat, on that. That seat you've got the camera on, yeah. doesn't that move? That's like a movable cupboard thing, isn't it? I, I wouldn't try it, but no. I think you can move it sort of over there. Or over or I've seen, actually, I've saw pictures of people sitting there. Yeah. So obviously you can move it over there. Yeah. What you got under the flap there, Jay? Under oh, this big flap, flap here. The big flap. Look down. That flap. I don't know because I can't open it. <laughs> oh. A 32-inch TV. Yeah. Space for a 32-inch TV. I think that's not a real TV they've got there. No. <laughs> Gives you the idea. Gives you the idea. And that presumably pushes down. Right, right. Push down easier easier if it's got a TV in it, I would think. And your window at the side. Lockers and shelves here. Tiny locker there. Well oh, isn't that oh, no, it's not attached to the bed. No, not attached no. to the bed, it is tiny. But oh. you've got the big drop down bed there. There's a lot in this boat. <laughs> I think the bed goes down quite a way because yeah. the, the track goes all the yeah, way the down. Yeah, the track goes all the way down, so I imagine you can bring the bed all the way down to a sensible height. Because I haven't seen a ladder, so it's good, all good. Hmm? I haven't seen a ladder. No, you have got hooks Unless for it's ladder up there. there. Yeah, it shows all the positions. Yeah, so you can get it all the way down. Or you could have it all the way up, or not in the middle, or two people, one underneath, or two underneath and two on top. But yeah, don't squash the people. The, the label tells you all. Don't squash the people down below. That's it. Yeah, don't. If someone's, don't, if someone's sleeping down here, don't drop it all the way down. No. I think that's what it's saying. Yeah. <laughs> I love these labels. Yeah. It's like the ones you get on cab blinds, isn't it? Like that one over there. It says, don't drive with the cab blinds closed. <laughs> <laughs> Which would be a bit difficult, wouldn't it? Yeah.
it's all sort of lots of cabbie holes here. Did we spot the fridge? Not... Yeah, I've, I've, yeah, I've done the fridge. Oh, no, no, I haven't spotted the fridge. No, I didn't think you had. This is a compressor fridge. Isn't it? So that runs off 12 volts. That's because you're not using gas and you're yeah. using uh, diesel heating. So you'd be, you've got diesel heating and you've got a compressor fridge. So they borrowed things from camper vans there. Got the vent for the fridge there. Thoughts? It's unusual. It's yeah, it's like. you tend to find with them. Yeah, I mean, these, sometimes you? You, we come into motorhomes and we, you know, we sort of almost know them inside out. Yeah. And when you see one like this, we knew this was new. Yes. But you see, these are sort of freestanding. These, you sit there. Eh? Yeah, it's quite nice to low down. Nice to sit down for a minute. And you've got the Ford cab with the the sat nav uh, thing as well. Is that the Ford one? I can't tell. You've got the Ford locker bits up there. Quite a bit of space up there. Nice sunroof. Quite sure what that's for. Oh, it's a USB. A USB. Not sure what's going on there. Got a couple of USBs up there. So you put your More USBs up there. up there. Yeah. It's Truma blown air heating, and that bit I recognise. But I like, the, I like this table idea. That's very it's handy. Not Truma, is it? Oh no, sorry, it's um, it's whale, isn't it? Yeah, whale blown air heating. I thought you said it was diesel. Yeah, it's it's Wabasso. No, I'll get this right in a minute. It's Wabasso diesel heating. Yeah, blown air. Uh, blown air. Yeah, that'll be down there. You might have to edit that bit out. Yeah, I'll leave it in. You'll leave it in. <laughs> yeah, I've looked in there. Yeah. Obviously, you haven't got the under sofa travel seats in here. We've well, got travel seats well, here. Yeah, because you don't need them. No, They've... because it's part of the L shaped lounge. So that's yeah. a more traditional idea as far as travel seats go. You take that cushion out there. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. A very unusual motorhome. Hmm. With the glass there as well. That. Yeah, it's glass, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. I suppose it shields the occupants sitting here from hot liquids, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Thoughts? Unusual. Um, obviously, you can entertain a lot of people in here. Yeah, it's great for entertaining. And great, you know, you watch your T TV or Your big you. TV there, your 32 yeah. inch TV. Little drawers in. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I think we'll probably be seeing more of this van, but yeah, very interesting. Yeah, I know just noticed it's only got a small gas locker, but then it probably doesn't need it. But just yeah, for cooking, unusual. really, isn't it? Sorry? Just for cooking. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Quite like that. Step back. Right, 